All right, a package from the Nomadic Hacker. Oh, what do we have here? Okay. Should be his challenge lock. couple items in here an old best lock which may be the one that he indicated is a loner from his grandfather let's get them out yeah look at that guy Interesting. That'll be fun. We have this little guy, Y and T, has a Yale key. Yale on the front. Oh, look at that. This one is a little, uh, a little tricky. And the challenge lock. Check pins, not a hint, just a gift. Oh, that's awesome some of the um, check pins. Super cool. Thank you very much. And uh, <laughs> cheat code. Yep, so we won't be looking at that. Pneumatic hacker number one. It's always nice to see a first challenge lock. So let's go ahead. Have a stab at it. Looks like a quick set. Let's, um, just that's better all right let's see tension we'll go with the covert instruments bent tension wrench that'll work and for the pick let's do Let's do this guy. This is in 0.5 millimeter. And let's um, count the pins first if we can. Feels like five. Pick clockwise. Let's see. One's a little loose. OK. 
Okay, I think three is binding and I can't get under it because um, the hook is too deep. We'll switch to this guy. There we go, right under. A little counter rotation. Feels like some serrations. All right, got the false set, little tiny false set by touching it was pin one. Okay, nothing there. Let's work backwards. Okay. I might be getting a, a, a very slight click back there. Okay, we got a click and a little bit more uh, of a false set. All right, let's see. One. Let's take a look. That's our false set. Oops. So we might be held up on just one pin. Let's see. How is it? No longer feeling any decent feedback now that we're this deep in the false set. So I want <clears throat> it's better for you. So I wonder um I wonder if there's been any undermilling that something might be caught in. We might have to um Counter rotate. Let's get a different pick or a different tensioner. I'll try this guy. So I will manually rotate to the left. And whoops. I did hear some, a bunch of stuff drop, so could have rotated a little too much to the left. So let's see if we can get that false set back. You know, let's start over and let's actually, let's pick in the opposite direction. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if if one might be a high lift. Let's see. Yeah, the key pin doesn't look that short. Oops. Knocking this camera around. Let's see. We might be overset somewhere, which is why I'm not getting good feedback. Yeah, let's let's reset. So I think if we touch one, yep, we get a little movement. And then we hit that long pin, which might... Let's try and lift that one. Yeah, so I think... I think there's a zero lift 
in maybe key pin three. going to go back to clockwise and again we get that slight movement off the top You know what? I forgot. <clears throat> I forgot the advice he gave me. He said feather light tension. I've been violating that this whole time. Let's switch up to feather light tension. Let's see what happens. Oh, my tension was so light, I was in a false set and didn't even realize it. All right, let's continue with feather light tension. There we go. So I ended up counter rotating a little bit and with the deep hook getting under, I think maybe f pin four. So, oh my gosh, that was tricky. Very well done for a, a number one, especially. All right, let's see what we got in here. Five pins as suspected. Let's get a look at them. Short one in one. So that long one I was feeling was in two. Oh my gosh. Look at these awesome key pins. Look at that. Three, four, and five have some nice work there. All right, so uh, let's go ahead and get these guys out. Get it spring out. You know, that spring is being stubborn, we'll keep it. Ooh, look at that. Very nice.
standard in two. And, oh my gosh. Yeah, awesome. This was from one. Two. Fifth spring is in there, we'll leave that. Uh, let's go ahead and do one of these real quick. So what we're working with here, very nice security pins. Let's take a look at the core. Oh yeah. Very nice. Job well done. This was a lot of fun to pick. Let's actually take a quick look in here. Doesn't look like any modifications in there. Well, great job. Nomadic Hacker. Awesome. Oh, and quick uh, note here. I, uh, I had it backwards. It's the, the Yale lock, which was his grandfather. So I'll take a look at it and definitely send it back and then as he says the best lock if i get it open you can keep it so that is uh, an awesome challenge and uh, an awesome looking lock here so thank you very much and thank you for the check pins as well i um, definitely appreciate that cheers <laughs>